Heather Mills is here and she's made it her mission to make us all go vegan and to prove it she is cooking a meat-free chicken in inverted commas curry and some vegan cupcakes good morning Heather so morning. vegan is nil animal product at yeah, all no eggs no dairy no meat no shrimp no beef no chicken but we do all vegan chicken you can have muffins that are egg free dairy free which is not just great for vegans it's good for kids with a lactose intolerance people that are suffering ill health people that want to lose weight the whole thing so we still have sausages ham chicken turkey but it's just all vegan and environmentally sound do you say well being the second biggest contributor to global warming meat and dairy it's about time at least one day a week we tried to think about our carbon footprint. So this is because cows and pigs and things... They fart a lot. Yes. And methane. Yes, and that's and more dangerous than cars and chimneys 18% and... is due to that, whereas the whole world transport is 13.5%. So everyone talks about transport, this and that. Al Gore did the inconvenient truth, but conveniently left out meat and dairy. And now his second one is going to actually incorporate it because the United Nations have released a paper mm. saying that that is... One what of about the biggest all those contributors. poor souls in underdeveloped countries who survive because they've got a couple of cows and Well, actually, and it's, it's, it's be no, it's not. It's actually, we take all their grain, and that's what made me go vegan. I was backstage at Live 8, said to the African lady's friend, how do you feel everyone's trying to wipe out debt? And she said, well, if you'd stop drinking your lattes, we wouldn't have children dying in Africa. And I said, well, that's a bit extreme. And then I went over there and had it filmed, and all the grain that was, could have fed all the starving children is being shipped back to us around Europe to feed the cattle. So it's the reverse every time. Mm. What oh, about yeah. over here though? What about, I mean, if you have a, uh, I'm quite happy to sort of support our dairy farmers and our egg producers and I mean, it's a massive can, amount of people they, out of work. No, and they wouldn't be out of work because they could do, grow all the vegan products instead. They could do all the grain. If, if the whole of America stopped using the grain for cattle, there would be no such thing as world starvation. Just America only, there would be no such thing as starvation. So all the farmers would carry on having loads of work, but they would grow soy and different grains and wheats that would go to people instead of the, the cattle. Eventually someone will figure out a way to sort of plug a cow's oh. bottom into your car and then fill <laughs> yeah. it up eventually. And well, you can do that next. I, I, might, I might work <laughs> on that. OK, so I would take a bit of convincing. I love my meat. I, re I think I've been given these teeth at the front for a reason. Yeah. So, uh, so convince me. OK, well, what you're, you're not making? running around in... Uh, the caves anymore. Well, so. don't you don't you be so sure. <laughs> okay, well we won't know about your personal life. So oh. um, you put basically you want to do a coconut rice. So instead of using milk, obviously we use coconut milk. So I'll just put, check this is on. Yep. Okay. So this and is the Thai you, chicken curry. Yes. You pour a little bit of oil. Fingers are clean. Base of the pan, and then two cups of coconut milk. This gives a lovely, lovely flavour to the rice. Makes it really fragrant. You stir all that in. Hang on, not that one. Some water. It's about one and three quarter cups of water. Okay. Stir that. Bring it to the boil. Then when it's boiled, I've obviously made some earlier mm -hmm. <laughs> um, because we haven't got time. So that will take about five to six minutes to come to the boil. You stir it continuously. Once it's boiled, pop the lid on, but leave a slight gap so the steam comes out, mm -hmm. and then don't touch it for 20 minutes. And then it reduces to this? Yeah. Shall we have a look? Yeah. OK. There it is. It comes out like that. Fluffy but sticky yeah. coconut rice. Slightly risotto-ish. Risotto isn't it? Yes. But it's like a, a jasmine rice. Okay. So it's got a nice fruit flavour. Lovely. While that's cooking, you can put your sugar and water. So it's two tablespoons of sugar, one and a half tablespoons of water, and let that caramelise. Don't stir it. When it's finished, add another two tablespoons of water. Put that to one side. Mm -hmm. Then you put... A little bit of oil in here and let that heat. That'll heat through. And this I've is obviously your made substitute some in, chicken. Yeah, this is um, basically the Thai lemongrass chicken. This vegan chicken you can make for anything. I do a chicken nut korma, do that with coconut mm. milk. Um, Where do you buy this from? You can buy it from any health food store. Already done with lemon yeah. grass and everything. No, you just buy it, but you can eat it out of the packet. The great thing about vegan meats is they're just ready. You can take them out of the packet okay. and eat them. So is that tofu can add or something like that? It's soy, soy based. Yeah. Okay. And um, if you so go onto you your website, you can get the recipe. Okay. I've basically pour in some curry powder. Yep. Garlic. You've got the recipe on your website, Good. so the exact amount. A little bit of salt and sugar. Stir that round. Smells good already, isn't it? 
That's the garlic. Yeah. I love a bit of garlic. And the curry powder helps. And then just add the shallots. And then lemongrass. The best thing about lemongrass is you can, when you're cooking for a long time, actually put the lemongrass in and just put a skewer inside and really mince up the inside. Or you can take it out and, and mince it up and add the lemongrass like that. And so if you roasted it, the middle goes soft like a, like a garlic yeah, wood. Yeah, it and does. Just or it even out. if you just, you know, chop it in half yeah. and get a skewer, you can see that it's, it's got the juice soft flavor bits in and smell yeah. it. Mm, it's gorgeous. gorgeous. Huh? So not, this, not the hard bits, you want the soft bits. You want bits. the really oh, soft, okay. juicy bits. Yeah. So you just let that cook. Right. And then you can just um, pour it in here and then marinate, marinate your bits of... While the coconut rice is cooking, you can just pour. Oh, that's it. Arrives try, like that. try a little bite of that without anything in it. This is how you buy it. Yeah, that's oh, how you buy it. And you can warm it or heat it. I don't know if they've mm, got a nutty texture. Mm. Yeah. it's not chicken, but no. it's got a nutty texture. Yeah. Mm. The texture is chicken, but yeah. Mm. Well, then you add any flavour, mm. and you can just let that marinate not in unpleasant. there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to warm this through. Mm -hmm. The, the thing about vegan meatless meats is they don't really need much cooking. So you can um, add them to anything. The more you cook them, the softer they get. Whereas with real chicken and meat, the more you cook them mm, because pepper. you don't want to get salmonella or... And you're following in the footsteps of Linda here, aren't you? Well, Linda was veggie and did some amazing things and was a pioneer for everything. But because there's masses of normal chefs around, like Gordon Ramsay and... Marco P. White, there's millions of them. There's, there aren't any vegan chefs. There's a couple of veggies, but um, I only know two in America that are actually known vegan chefs. And vegan and vegetarian are mm. completely different because obviously vegetarians, eggs and dairy sure. and everything. And your cafe, which you have on the bee coast, bites. South coast yeah. Bee Bites, all vegan, everything It's completely vegan. vegan. Everyone's shocked. We had 3,000 people the first day, 1,750 the second and a range between six and eight hundred every day since. Mm. And Bruce we're busier than Jamie Oliver down the road. Yeah, well done. <laughs> which is a big shock. So people come in and I've got like, you know those sushi bars where the mm. travelator goes around? I've got all cupcakes, carrot cake, every coconut almond. Mm. We'll let you, um, let you plate that up yeah. and, uh, and here's the cupcake recipe, which is your, your second recipe today. Yeah. Here you go. Am I doing the right thing here? You can do that. Time. Sift together 200 grams of self-raising flour, one teaspoon of baking powder and 30 grams of cocoa. Whisk together 55 grams of maple syrup, 90 milliliters of oil and 230 milliliters of water. Then stir into a dry mix and beat until smooth. Pour into ramekins and cook at 180 degrees centigrade or gas mark 4. Stir the chopped stem ginger into melted vegan chocolate and spoon on top. There you go, that's uh, on our Bird website. Bird is messing my dishes up. Yes, so. I know, I plopped some rice into it. No, no, look, you put it well, in a cup. Well, you can do, just put it in a cup and then just pour it out. <laughs> Sorry. <for> presentation, darling. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and then you just fork. put the chicken. It smells with the wow. side. It does. And then you can garnish. Let's turn that off. Let me just what garnish, garnish it with? with some very thinly sliced spring onion. Mmm. I'll try your coconut ice. That is absolutely mm. delicious. Coconut yeah, lovely. lovely. And you can use, if you're diabetic, you can use agave syrup or a thing called stevia, which is zero glycemic. Mm. Mm. So it means oh, it's lovely. good for everybody. That's a lovely, actually, oh, seriously, okay. that's a lovely flavour, and I wouldn't miss the fa I know it's not chicken, but it doesn't matter that it isn't, because no. it tastes gorgeous. Mm. And, and I also do like a chicken at Corma and 200 other recipes mm. that you can go online at bbites.com and see. Thank you. Lovely show people an alternative. Even if they do it one day a week, it's helping the environment, the animals, and there's no suffering. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very, very much. Very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, for details, as we said, of all the recipes, have a look at our website, itv.com slash thismorning. Mm.